To what extent do you see this as a major intelligence failure? Well, I think that there will be a time and place to deal with whether it was an intelligence failure. I think right now what I want the American people to know is just imagine the Israeli people woke up to seeing their own citizens dragged in the streets, the elderly children, women taken as hostages, whole families murdered. And so now today the Israeli um, people and the country are having to face the fact that their loved ones are being deployed, that they are having to go to the front lines to defend their country, that businesses are having to be shuttered because their workers are leaving to go defend the country, and because they've had a massive terrorist attack. And so I think that one, prayers for determination and strength for the Israeli people, but what I want the American people to know is what happened when they were dragging those people in the streets? What happened when they were murdering innocent Israelis? The Hamas, and the backers who support them, the, the Iranian regime, were, were chanting death to Israel, death to America. That's what we have to remember. We are united with Israel because we are united because both Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, and the Iranian backers, they hate us. And we have to remember that what happened to Israel could happen here in America. And I hope that we all unite and stand with Israel because they really need us right now. Quick follow up there, Ambassador. Does that mean that you are concerned about potential attacks on the home front in the wake of what we saw in Israel? I have been concerned. I have been terribly worried about the fact that Iran has said the easiest way to get into America is through the southern border. We have an open border. People are coming through. They're not being vetted. We don't need to wait for another 9-11. You also look at the fact that, Kristen, America is incredibly distracted and incredibly divided. And when America is distracted, the world is less safe. And look at what happened to Israel. They waited for them to be distracted. And that's when your enemies move in. Mm -hmm. America needs to wake up. We need to put this negative Negativity and division behind us, and we need to focus on national security for ourselves and for our friends um, and start thinking about what it's going to take to get America strong again. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.